I went to Cabo, St. Lucas, Mexico for the second time. This time I went solo. We'll be doing a review of the Rio Palace, Baja, California, adult only resort. We back again so highly. Just that back in my back, low. We back to change the climate. Just that back in my back, low. We bring the force like Tommy. Back in my, back in my back, low. Back in my, yeah, yeah. Back in my bag, yeah. I'm back in my, yeah, yeah. I'm back in my bag, yeah. I'm back in my. This my back of my bag flow uh. Back again, yeah we keep on stacking it, what's happening? Everything in Gucci got me feeling like I'm dapper then Life has been a movie, yeah, so shout out to the cameraman Pull up to the scene, it's going down like a avalanche Steady going up like a travel plan Homer Simpson face, lucky power plan Yeah, I'm off that dope, like I'm back again to Vizzy At the Millie's, I don't club hers Give the word if it's a city, love forgive me Still have emotion, dog, so why would I slow it? Make it rain on them, bust a the band, then you throw it when I tell you, they get crunk. If you want to have a good time, you're celebrating birthdays, you're celebrating anniversary, you're celebrating a divorce, ha! This is the place to go to have a good time, y'all. And like I said, it's adult only. This is the newest resort of the three. The Ryu Palace is the highest tier for the Ryu properties there in that particular area. And when you pay for that particular resort, you have access to the other two sister properties, which is great. So when they were having like the pool parties and all the DJs and like the crunk stuff, it was over there, believe it or not, on the family side, which is the Ryu Santa Fe. I have a lot to cover, a lot to unpack. I also did some interviews with a couple of people that I met at the resort and I'm gonna let them give you their opinion of the resort, the accommodations, the food, the entertainment. So it's not just coming from me, it's, it's non-biased, it's from various different people and You'll hear firsthand from them. I booked the standard room. I paid $188 a night, and I was told that the standard room did not come with a view. Okay, you know, to be expected. I actually did get a side view, a partial view. If I turn my head to the right, bam! It was right there, y'all. The ocean, nice and blue. The room was clean. It was in pristine condition. They do have a bar, a full service bar in your room. That's tequila, rum, vodka, and gin. And the refrigerator is fully stocked with water and mixers. They also have a safe in the room to secure your valuables. The room was clean. The shower is huge and has two sinks. Man, I couldn't ask for anything else. I mean, for the price I paid, can't beat it. Let's get into the food. They have 24 hour room service and I did take advantage of the room service. I ordered breakfast the following day. I just asked for a grilled cheese with a fried egg in the center. Y'all see what I got? I got all this food. Still didn't get, even get a slice of cheese, but I digress. Also tried the Italian restaurant the first night. I had lobster ravioli and lamb chops. Now I must say the lamb chops had good flavor, although they were tough for them. Well done when I should have asked for the lamb chops, medium. But that was just my experience. I know for next time. Another thing they have in that Italian restaurant, I think it's Sophia's, they have a buffet. And y'all know I'm not big on buffets, but um, they do have buffets and self-service there as well as ordering off of the menu. I also tried the Japanese restaurant and I'm telling y'all, that miso salmon over a bit of asparagus was off the chain. I also ordered the tapenyaki beef and vegetables. Did ask for no mushrooms. I got a whole bunch of mushrooms. I just pushed them off to the side, but the flavor was there for the steak. The steak did have a lot of gristle and fat on one side of it. It did have good flavor, a little bit on the salty side. Taj Mahal, the Indian restaurant. Of all, all the restaurants, I would say, I would say the Japanese and the Taj Mahal are kind of neck to neck. But I had the lobster, it was like some curry lobster on top of some batsami rice. Baby, that was off the chain. It was supposed to have cashews in it, but I didn't see any cashews. Nice warm naan bread came out with these different sauces and like a chutney. Baby, that was good. I also ordered the mahi-mahi. It was very bland. It didn't have a lot of flavor at all, but for me, it wasn't given, so. I stayed with the lobster. Did come with some lobster and shrimp because they were running out of lobster. Uh, I guess they were waiting on a shipment to come in, but nonetheless, I enjoyed it. It is a small bowl. If you have a larger appetite, you can just go ahead and order two of those. Did do the buffet one day. I'm not a buffet girl, but I'ma tell y'all that that seafood fried rice, 
was on point. It was banging. The drinks were good. I had, of course, lemon drop martinis because that's my thing. I did have some Chardonnay, some Pinot Grigio, and espresso martinis, baby. Espresso martinis, all right? They were good. Entertainment, guys. The entertainment, the first night, there was the Divas, and they were doing some old school songs, old school classics. Uh, they had a violinist one night. They had a tribute to Michael Jackson. And I'm going to tell y'all, if y'all ever go there and y'all watch it, y'all going to know who the understudy is for Michael. That's all I'm going to say. Also, they had karaoke one night. They had um, an infinity pool. They had like a, a pool that was kind of quiet and tranquil on the side. And then the beach. You can walk down the flight of stairs. The beach is right there. I will say, grains of sand are very, very rough. Aqua socks would be perfect for this type of outing. They do have vendors out on the beach. I'll let some other people tell you about that firsthand. Get down the steps of the vendors, they'll come right to you on the side. You want this, you want a race that you can have, which is fine, but I'm just like, it's kind of overwhelming. overwhelming. Say people come to Cabo, just be prepared, especially if you're a person of color. They're not going to ask about nothing you have going on. They just expecting you to smoke up and down on the beach. And they, you know, other people, they offer you hats and bracelets. <laughs> They pulled up on me. Yeah, I got that smoke. I got that, I got that gun. I got that weed. Yeah, I'm like, they look going. <laughs> I thought it was all right. My lady's going okay. You ain't. You ain't. You just bro, pulled up on me with the bag. He dipped it out and had it right there. Like, he ain't grabbed you or nothing. I don't like to go down to the beach tomorrow. Right. The water was rough too, so I think maybe oh. that's why, you know, we didn't see a lot of people. Right. Like, a lot of people here too. Come down in the morning, put their towel, and then go back up. Right. I, I try to be cognizant of that. If I would put my towel down, it's because they you come in yeah. Yeah, right now. So. Okay. You went to the white party last night. Wasn't it was jumping. It was. It was. I'm not a big phone person. I'm not, you know. <laughs> phone was in the pool. It was packed. Like, two right. friends. Yeah. Young. Yeah. Everyone. Black, white. A little bit for everyone. What we did uh, notice this morning, we were out here very because we couldn't finish um, It was, it, they need to start cleaning a little bit early. Yeah, because there were bottles they were, left and plates and there were plates. But the room accommodation is okay. What do you think about the food? I think the buffet was the best. Yeah. 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 Which restaurant did you go to? We only went to the steakhouse. I went, we went to the steakhouse. The that was good. The Italian was good. Thank you ladies so much for your time. I really appreciate it. So, so what do you want to ask me? You said you've been here at this resort three times? Three times. We're here because, uh, well, two of us <laughs> are in love. Oh, uh, how sweet is that? And the other reason that we're here is uh, our daughter and to her friends that are 20, 20, and 21. And we thought, hey, this is a great place. It's big, we can party, they can get it all on here. Right. Keep on resort, that's why we got you. We did. Makes a lot of sense. Thanks for sharing. No problem. Um, like I said, I met a lot of people there. I make friends wherever I go, so that's nothing new. Met um, a coach and some ball players, and one of the guys was celebrating his, his bachelor party. And, a group of 35 men and um, we just all had a good time they allowed me to hang with them in the VIP over at the other facility that is by the way the sister property this is the place to go to have a good time y'all I'm telling you like liquor was flowing the DJ was on all kinds of music they have dancers that party went on and on and on it was a good time had by all guys I mean if you want to have a good get down time they have photographers in the pool who can capture all of this, videographers and photographers, still shots. I mean, man, I just had the time of my life. They had the bottle service. They had the girls coming through with the fire and there was a unicycle guy. There was, um, they did dances around the pool. They were giving out tequila shots via gun into your mouth. I mean, it was just cool. It's really, really a cool time. And the second party that I went to over there was the neon party. The neon party was at night and I believe it started like 4 p.m. something like that and I don't know how long it went on I, I left I didn't stay all night but I will say that I really really thoroughly enjoyed myself and I'm gonna allow some of the other people to give you their perspective their take on it have you gone to any of the specialty I've restaurants to all of them oh wow okay uh, Japanese one's my favorite and what did you order there um what did I order there 
I, I got some rolls, obviously some sushi. I but think it was maybe like the seared tuna or something. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Crystal. Crystal. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. And that one was pretty good too. I heard about that. That's pretty good. All right. So, do you have any cons about the resort? Um. No, actually, I don't. I, everything's pretty. Um, no, everything's pretty good here. I like it. I like the atmosphere. I like the vibe. Right. Yeah, the food's good. The service is great. The people, the employees here are right. awesome. That's the reason why we come every year. They're awesome. Did you see the entertainment? Did you see Michael Jackson? I, I did see Michael Jackson. It was awesome, and, right? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Well, thank you so much yeah, for absolutely. your time. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Yeah, anytime. I need some interviews for my YouTube channel. YouTube channel, what kind of interviews? Asking you guys how you like the resort and uh, what have you done since you've been here. Yeah. Okay. We'll travel 617. That's what you are? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to look out for you. How long have you been here? It's my third day. Third day. What have you done so far? Eat, beach, pool, and uh, fish. What do you think about the room? It's not bad. And what about the food? To be honest with you, I'm not sure when it comes to food. Uh-huh. You have lamb chops and not, they don't taste right to some people. Right. Okay. And the so truth is the truth. You have to tell right, right, right. Only scared people. Look, I preferred the salmon. I had the miso salmon yeah, and I had the lamb chops. The lamb chops were tough. Well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. I had to blow the whistle one night. I will tell you that this guy was so close up on me in my own personal space. I blew the whistle on him. Yes, I did. And he went on about his business. And the next day when I was talking to some of the patrons there, the ladies, I told them about the incident. They were like, that was you. Yo, we heard that. I know. I heard that noise. That is me. We heard it. I thought it was a fire drill. We no. Because this dude, this hard. dude followed me from over. No, no, no. It was a black guy. He had an all pink. And uh, he, he came and sat next to me. With yeah. the beard. And was like, uh. So I was like, yes. fucking weirdo. What? Oh my God. The whistle so, came in handy. Glad I had it. And, you know, sometimes people get a little inebriated and they don't get the hint that. You don't want to be bothered. So I had to blow the whistle and he went on about his business. That was a minor infraction. It was nothing against the resort itself. It was nothing to do with locals. It was someone traveling such as myself. It was a guest of the hotel. And um, I didn't have any other incidents other than that. Now I will say that I did my excursion on a glass bottom boat. Last year when I went, I did with a group of my cousin's friends. I tagged along and we did a dinner cruise to the Arch. And I would say that this particular time, I was able, because the boat was smaller, to get closer to the Arch to get some really, really good photos. But I wanna tell y'all a backstory behind this. Now, I originally booked my excursion in advance, $60, and that included round trip transfers from my hotel to the uh, marina and back to my hotel and the glass bottom boat and the glass bottom boat entailed if you wanted to get off and you wanted to go snorkeling if you wanted to get off and spend a little bit of time at lovers beach or divorce beach you could do so and they will pick you back up and take you back to your resort now they never showed up i had to go back and forth with them in whatsapp they told me i was a no-show when i was in the lobby early Long story short, I was able to dispute it. I got my money back. I got a full refund for that. I went ahead and I booked the excursion again, but I booked a cheaper one that didn't include the transfers because I didn't want to take a chance on waiting on a driver to come and a no-show again. So this particular time I took a taxi and the taxi is $15 each way. So $30 round trip and $25 for this glass bottom boat. Although the glass bottom boat was not fully glass bottom, which is what I wanted, which is what I originally booked. I ended up with a glass bottom boat that just had cutouts in the bottom of the boat, which I thought was kind of cheesy, but hmm, you get what you pay for, right? Now, this is one thing that I learned. Kind of like when you're on a cruise ship and you book your excursions in advance with the cruise line, they're a little bit more pricier than if you were to actually go on land and scout out stuff for yourself same concept here so i realized when i got down to the marina they had different vendors that had these signs in front and they had all these different excursions listed and i was able to find a glass bottom boat for eight dollars how cheap is that eight dollars so just do your research 
don't necessarily jump the gun and book everything in advance because I am a planner, so that's why I booked in advance, but you live, you learn. So now I know the next time I go back, which I will be going back for the third time to Cabo, and this time I think I'm gonna stay in the marina area because they have a restaurant rows, they have casinos, they have nightclubs, and they have a mall there that's just like in the thick of it all. So when I go this time, I am planning on booking an area near the marina, even though the the ride to marina was about 15 minutes it wasn't like it was long at all but i just want a different experience when i go so first time i stayed in the villas in the cut in the rocks which was very very cool this time i stayed right on the beach which was also very cool entertainment was right there everything was pumping i loved it i loved the food uh the drinks were good the company I mean I just really had a good time and so this next time I am equally as excited and I hope that I will have an even greater experience and thank you for watching until next time toodles